This video is about how to use the KBR1 uh, keyboard wedge RFID scanner to be able to scan a chip implant to log into macOS. Now, um, there's a few peculiarities here with macOS that won't let it uh, let you set it up so easily, but essentially, when you plug this in, it's going to act as a keyboard, and when you scan a chip implant that's ISO 1443A compliant, it will type out the serial number of the implant, uh, and then followed by an enter key. So, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to change your current password to the serial number of your chip implant as the KBR1 will type it out. So uh, there's a few hurdles here though, because uh, unlike Windows 10, which means you can enter a pin code alternative to your account, you have to uh, essentially change your password. Uh, the other thing is this password entry dialog box has got some security measures in it. So you can't paste a password into here. You can't um, actually use the KBR1 to enter it either, because uh, if I enter my old password, and uh, you know, super complex and go to the new password. If I scan, uh, it's going to hit enter and the enter key um, generates this error. It says passwords do not match and it blanks the box. I can't move on to the next verification. Also, I can't paste anything into there. So uh, what you have to do is open a text editor and then scan your implant and the serial number will come up, though I think I'll probably you know blur that out in this video. Uh, and again, you can't copy and paste it. So you have to bring up the password change dialog, and you have to enter it uh, manually. So I'm going to do that now. And then again, verify. <laughs> Scan it. Um, so change password. So now that the password has been changed, we can log into this account now using the scanner because the scanner will type it out and hit enter and that will get us logged in. I'm going to lock the screen and we can see enter password. Cursor is in the enter password box and we scan and that's how you log in.